morning boys and girls hope you're doing well and i hope you already said i love you mom happy mother's day mom this morning i want to ask you have you ever seen one of these yes it's a lunchbox but how many times have you opened up your lunchbox at school and you go like this oh, not again peanut butter and syrup or Oh, another jam broiki. Oh, please, mom. Can't you give me something new or something nice? Why the same? Or maybe you get spaghetti bolognese or leftovers from the night before. You're just like, oh, not again. But do you know that actually back home, there was someone that cared enough for you to put something in your lunchbox that you don't go hungry at school? Yes. And it was probably mom. So the next time you get a broiki at home or at school and it's like oh, then you must actually say oh, thank you lord that my mom looked out for me to make sure that i get a broiki do you know that mom is actually doing everything they look after you they make sure that you eat they make sure you get a warm bed they make they sacrifice so much for you to be happy to make sure that you are okay that you can go to school that she will help you with your homework is actually amazing do you know there's actually a cool story about a mom in the bible too in ruth there's a story about naomi and ruth and i'm going to tell you the story the story is in ruth 1 verse 6 till 17 let me read it for you when she heard in moab that the lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them Naomi and her daughters-in-law prepared her to return home from there. With her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back home to the land of Judah. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show kindness to you as you have shown to your dead and to me, your dead and to me. Maybe the Lord grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them and they wept aloud and said to her, we will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? And I'm going to have any more sons who could become your husbands? Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and then give birth to sons, would you wait until they grow up? Would you remain unmarried to them? No, my daughters. It is more better for me than for you because the Lord's hands has gone out against me. At this they wept again. The orphan kissed, Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, and Ruth clung to her. Look, said Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her God. Go back to her, with her. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to return back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates you and me. Isn't that an amazing story to know that someone loved her mother-in-law so much has said, I will not leave you. You are my mother and I will be with you forever, no matter what happens. And remember, Naomi just lost her husband and her two sons. So she had nothing left. And Ruth said, I will stay with you. I will not go back to my mom or my parents. I will stay with you. I love you enough that I will stay with you. And guys, if you think about it, Mom's is on the job 24 7. Mom doesn't say, okay, no, sorry guys, I am now tired, leave me alone, do whatever you want to. No, if you are sick, she's by your bed. 
She's taking, checking your temperature. She's checking, are you okay? Even if mom is so tired, she will still, she will sleep with you by your bed if you are sick. Or tell you, no, come sleep by my, by my bed, that I can make sure you are okay. Moms never, ever leave us. And you know what? Maybe we must try to show mom a little bit more love. Show mom a little bit more of, thank you, mom, that you look after me. Thank you, mom, that you will do anything for me. So this morning, there's two things I want you to do this today. So you probably have something you're going to do with mom today. I hope so. And if not, you better make a plan. First thing. We need to show mom we love her. Not just say, ah, oh, thank you mom for the cool food. Thank you mom for my clothes. I want you today to show mom how you love it. You can't go buy flowers. You can't go buy presents. We know we are stuck at home. So today, whatever lunch you prepare, I want you to put the table. Set the table beautifully. Get whatever you've got in your house to make the table beautiful. Help dad or whoever is cooking, help them to cook an amazing meal. Even if you're just eating sandwiches today, make it special. Put it out and tell mom, I love you and I did this for you. And tomorrow, not just today, tomorrow and all the days that's coming, you need to look around the house and say, where can I help mom? Can I maybe pack out my room nicely and make sure it's nice and clean? Maybe I can help packing out the dishes into the cupboards again. Maybe you're big enough to wash the dishes. Maybe you're big enough to make a nice cup of coffee or tea for mom. Today I want you to show mom you love her, not just say thank you. And the next time mom makes you something, you're like, oh, not again. Remember, mom made it with love. Mom made it because she cares for you. I've got a memory verse that I want to share with you this morning. And I really, really want you to remember it because it's such an amazing verse. The memory goes like this. In Ephesians 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. God is not telling you, ah, oh, if you want to listen to your mom, ah, oh, if you want to obey your mom. God says in Ephesians, children... Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. You need to listen to mom and dad. You need to obey mom and dad. Because you know what? The greatest, greatest gift that God gave to a mother is a child. And the greatest, greatest gift that a mother can give to God is to raise you in God's way. That is her ultimate. She needs to teach you to sit up. She needs to teach you to walk. She needs to teach you to talk. But you know what? The greatest, greatest job God gave a mom is to raise you in a godly way. So when mom teaches you about God, when, God, when mom teaches you about the Bible, open up your ears. Listen to mom. Because that is mom's greatest job, is that she knows one day you will become a woman of God, a man of God. That is her job. So next time she teaches you to pray, listen and start to pray like mom and dad is praying. Mom's greatest gift is for you to become God's disciples, God, godly leaders that will make a new generation of a godly, godly principles and godly values. Guys, moms are special. God gave you a mom, even if it's not your real mom. God gave you a mom to look after you. And mom gave a gift for you to say, you need to be a godly leader. You need to be a godly child of God. I want to close off in prayer. Let's close our eyes. Lord, thank you for our moms. Thank you, thank you that you gave us someone special to love us, no matter what. How many mistakes we make how many things we do wrong. Mom will always be there to help us. Mom will always pick us up. Thank you, Lord, that we can bless our mothers this morning and say thank you for every mom that is sacrificing so much for us, for us to be okay. Sacrificing things that they would love to do, but they can't because they'll rather give it to their children. 
Lord, I pray that this morning that you will bless every mom that is maybe crying somewhere because they can't give enough. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen our mothers, that they will run the race to the end, Lord, that they will stay strong to, to teach their children about you and that you will give them wisdom to know how to teach it to their children. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.